Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Mitchell. I'm a managed service consultant here at Provel Tech. Today, we're going to go through a quick video on how to set up a Veeam Sure Backup uh, implementation. Uh, Veeam Sure Backup is its automatic testing. Uh, it allows you to automatically mount and do a virtual test um, of, a, of a backup. So if you launch your Veeam console, you can go to your backup infrastructure. Click over here on your Sure Backup. And step one is to add a virtual lab. You can rename it. You're going to pick your host. In this case, we're going to pick our vCenter host. And it's going to build a small virtual machine. In this case, you can pick your different options. Um, typically, basic single host automatic config will work. Um, occasionally, you will need to manually override the IP information. Now that we have our virtual lab created, you can go back to your Sure Backup, and we can add a Sure Backup job. And here, we're going to go through the wizard, tell it to run our virtual lab. And in here, we can link jobs, and we can pick our backup job. Within here, you can tell it to, depending on the availability on your host and how much resource it has available you can turn down your machines generally we will run one backup at, or one recovery test at a time and if you click advanced you'll get some other verification rule options so if we click on our machine we can click edit and in here we're going to tell it to restart with less resources because this is a limited host we're going to say only start up with 10 percent of our resources and we're going to give it longer time to attempt its startup. Maybe we'll do uh, 1,800 seconds. Depending on how you've configured your network uh, interfaces, you can allow it to do a ping response. Um, in this case, I'm, we're not going to mess around with the network. We're going to pick just that our heartbeat is present. And you can also allocate some additional scripts. So if you had a PowerShell script to go in and check a file or, or do some other work in the environment once it's up and running, you can specify that here. And you can also add specific credentials for script usage and whatnot on this last tab. I'm going to click OK. Going to click Next. A few more options here. You can configure a malware scan. Uh, a few other options. Obviously, be conscious of size of the machines, things of that nature. Uh, and then we'll click Next. And here we can schedule the job. Good idea to schedule on a reoccurring basis. Daily is pretty excessive, but it could be done. Uh, generally, I would recommend a monthly schedule. Have it run once a month. Um, and then you can have it also wait for a little while. Uh, click Apply. And it's going to build its job. Once the job is built, you can go over here, you can right click, we can start it. And in this case, once it's running, it will go through and begin its process. And in here you'll see it's starting to go through its testing routine. And while it's going through, you can actually double click on these. Uh, once it's in a um, uh, booting status, uh, and it will let you uh, remote into the machine depending on your setup. So if you have a, a VMware machine, it'll allow you, you can download the uh, VM console uh, and be able to remote into the machine as it's booting or as it's running. Um, this reporting when the job, if the job is successful or if the job fails, uh, would pass over to tools like Backup Radar um, and is handy for having for reports. Uh, so you can show to clients that you are doing regular virtual testing of backups.
and there we go. Now, because we're running only at 10%, uh, and this is a dev test environment, um, this is going to take quite a while, um, but we'll let it run for a little bit. Thanks for watching. We share a new video each week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate, Manage, or pretty much any other managed services product that you guys use. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProValTech.com. There's a link in the video and in the description below. Have a good day.